I want to do one more very briefly. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think we should go for line number 12 myself. I think that one sounds fun. I know it's, it's a little bit further down the list, but like, I want to, I want to take that guy. So we're going to go for as, as uh, the final end of the little last thing on the show here, uh, is Sir Delicioso, uh, no pronouns (laughs) given calling in from Canada. Uh, who wants to tell us that God is good. Uh, can I call you sir? Or do I call you delicioso? Like what would be a better way to talk to you? You could call me whatever you want to call me. Um, I called Hi. in because I heard uh, there was no Christians willing to defend uh, the character and the integrity of scripture. So one of the topics yep. is. You, is you are the it. only I one. We it. had we had one one atheist on the line who who had something and I, I'm afraid we weren't able to get to him, but like you were the only theist that called in saying that God is good. I right, no problem. So what's your disagreement with God being good? I would say that this world that we live in is a pretty strong, are we talking about the God of the Bible or are we talking about like just in exactly. general? Exactly. God the, the, the God of the Bible. Yes. And to the people in the in the chat, yes, it's the seven day cycle guy. Um so well, what, um, is, what are you what is your argument? What example? is your well, why don't you state your case? What is your argument that the God of the Bible is good? I, I yeah, I want to understand if we're talking about specifically the biblical God or just like kind of the vague ethereal the, the, anybody the running the universe. Okay, yeah, the, the, okay, cool. Yeah, God. no, I, I can absolutely, absolutely go on a, a whole thing about that. So you you go ahead, tell me, you know, why why is this God good? Unless you'd like me to start, I'd be happy to. But I, I we only have a little bit of time, I, and I don't I, know. I wanted, so yeah, because uh, you guys, uh, most of the people in the chat are already familiar with my argument. So how about you tell me, mm-hmm. give me one example on why you think God sure. is not good. The only well, one. No, no, sure. we're, we're, we're not in the chat. Why don't you, here's the premise no, it, of this show. I, you make your I, claim I, you know, and then back it up. People in the chat are, are recognizing this dude. So let's just like, I'll, I'll give you one brief example and we'll go from there. Um, in the Thank Bible, you. Dave actually brought this up a minute ago. Um, in the book of Exodus, uh, in order to convince the Pharaoh uh, to let the, the the Hebrew slaves go, after he had just de- deliberately hardened his heart and made it so that he wouldn't let them go, finally the last plague that he does is he kills every single firstborn child, kills millions of innocent babies across Europe or across Europe across Egypt, um, except for the ones that they they smeared lamb's blood over their door. So God is infanticidal killing all these innocent children uh cruel and ridiculous by hardening the pharaoh's heart in order to continue doing these these different plagues uh is is violating free will um is an absolute monster for doing this to a bunch of innocent people the pharaoh made the decision the people didn't make the decision and yet they're the ones who got punished and also is apparently really freaking dumb because he needs to be guided by a smearing of lamb's blood on which babies to not murder so that's one example of something absolutely heinous and disgusting that the God of the Bible did. All right. So how about the, you give me 15 seconds to respond to that. Uh, so Go number one, I love it when you, I, okay. I love it when you atheists act like, you know, the Bible, number one, it also says that uh, uh, Pharaoh hardened his own heart. So I, I would like you to reconcile uh, your understanding of that. Cause it doesn't only say God hardened his heart and you have to explain to me what that means in relation to uh, it, it also saying that uh, Pharaoh hardened his own heart. And number two, as it relates to uh, the firstborn child dying, it didn't say God did that. So I don't know where you got that, that, that passage from where it says God did that. What God did sure. is allow the angel of death. Go ahead. I'm trying to keep up with that. I, I, I apologize. I thought you were done. Please, please finish your point. And then we'll go. No, okay. So, so number one, Explain, uh, try to reconcile the fact that, that it also says Pharaoh hardened his own heart. I know what it means, but yes. I know you don't. And number two, um, the angel of death killed the firstborn child. Uh, uh, of, uh, of well, death. you're full of shit because we do know what that means. Some of us atheists yes. actually do know the fucking Bible, probably better than you. But go ahead so, and make your uh, make your. Uh, what's your do you have a third claims. one, or is those the only two? Uh, yeah. Um, just tell me, since you say you know the Bible better than me, tell me where it says Harden, uh, uh, Pharaoh hardened his own heart. Tell me I where, didn't say uh, I know what, it better than you. Is. I say I do know the Bible because I was a Christian so for 30 something years. Tell, give me the tell us, give me the reference. Tell us, tell us why the God that you serve needed to kill the firstborn of all the Jews. Tell us why he needed to do that. The firstborn of all the Jews? Are you ch- First of all, there's no. Firstborn of all the Jews. What are you talking about, <laughs> Dave? You're, you're talking okay. like somebody who doesn't. Are you okay? He didn't kill the firstborn of the Jews. Yeah. 
And I just said what? a couple of seconds ago. Over the doorpost. He put said, the blood of the lamb over the doorpost to kill all the firstborn. Who were who did he kill? <laughs> are who, you ridiculous to kill the firstborn? Or the Jews? He was protecting What are you talking about? Even Jews. He protected the Jews. He killed the first. <laughs> I, I, miss, I misspoke. The Jews. Yeah, I misspoke. He killed the firstborn. Okay, who was he? Who did kill and why? Uh, Tell us that. And he didn't kill the. And he didn't kill the first. We, there's no verse in scripture that says he killed the firstborn. Oh of the Jews. my God! Is that right. Has, no. Okay. So it, you've it, asked two questions now. You asked where to reconcile God hardening Pharaoh's heart versus God, Pharaoh hardening his own heart, and you you said that uh, God didn't kill the firstborn. The angel of death did, and and you're right. Dave misspoke, but he very yeah. quickly fixed that. Yeah, so he so, killed the firstborn. No big deal. Yeah. So here's the thing. First of all, and then also you changed your first question. You said, you know, where in the Bible does it say that Pharaoh hardened his own heart? So first of all, here I just typed in to Google God hardening Pharaoh's heart, and here's Exodus nine twelve. But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he would not listen to Moses and Aaron, just as the Lord had said to Moses, because earlier on he said. I will hardens Pharaoh's heart. He says that earlier. But even if it didn't say that, even if it was sometimes it was God hardening his heart and sometimes the Pharaoh hardened his own heart, that doesn't change anything. Sometimes God did it means God still did it. So like if I sometimes punch somebody and sometimes they punch themselves, that doesn't absolve me from punching them, right? And then also you said that God didn't kill the babies. The angel of death killed the babies. Cool. If I hire someone to go kill babies, I'm still responsible for those babies dying. There is still a thing there where I hired the hitman. So if God sent the angel of death to kill these babies, he's still responsible. And if he didn't send the angel of death, which the Bible says he did, but if he didn't and the angel of death just did this, then why did God give the instructions to smear the blood and all that stuff to spare some of the babies? He clearly knew it was happening, so he's guilty by just letting it happen. And he even knew about it ahead of time. So again, if I know someone's going to go kill a bunch of babies and I go tell people, hey, this guy's going to go kill a bunch of babies. Make sure to do this thing so your baby doesn't get murdered. That doesn't make me a good person. I should have stopped the dude from killing the babies. No matter which way you twist this story and play word games with it, your God is still responsible. And he's still an evil asshole for doing that. So how do you defend his morality? How about there? I respond to that? How about I respond okay. to that? Because uh, Why you don't made you a whole bunch of claims. Okay, number one, number one, uh, he never sent the angel of death. Basically what it means, because if you actually know scripture, he is allowed oh to remove his light. Uh, can, can I finalize? He, by his light, he is able to protect all human beings on this earth. It says in scripture that he shines on the good and the bad. Now you need to tell me why would uh, God be, um, um, why would he be um, compelled to, to, to keep his light on people who are rebelling against him? Because that's basically what he did. Why were the first one uh, of uh, Egyptian uh, 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 killed? By the angel of death, because they killed the firstborn. If you read Exodus one, you would know that the firstborn of uh, the Hebrews were killed as well. So they got measure for measure. That is what we call. Okay, so you think that if I kill somebody's baby, it's okay so for someone to come That's your moral baby. god. Okay, that's your moral no, god. No, 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 no. Also, I, I, I just looked it up here. Exodus twelve twenty three says the Lord goes through the land to strike down the Egyptians and he will see the blood on the top of the door frame. He'll pass over that door frame. That's the new international version. The new living tradition say, translation says the Lord will pass through the well, land. That's to strike probably down the, the wrong version for us. The English wrong standard version. version says the Lord will strike down the Egyptians. Uh, let's see. The King James Bible says the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptians. And if he seeth the blood upon the, the, the door, he will pass over it. The new King James version says the Lord will pass through. So this is not an angel of death over and over all these different verses all say god goes through the land and kills the firstborn children of israel and if god doesn't see the, the if god sees the the blood on the door then he will pass over it not the angel of death so not only is your argument unfounded sometimes i'm sure it does say angel of death in there somewhere but it also says god so either they're partners maybe they're lovers i don't know but also even if that wasn't the case again just because somebody else killed a baby doesn't mean that they deserve to have their babies killed. That's not how justice works. I'm sorry. Uh, did you just mute me? Because uh, it, it seems like you're, you want to score points, but you didn't really address my point. Uh, I, I'm going to repeat my, my position. First of all, it says God did uh, 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 smite the Egyptians. It doesn't say infants there. It doesn't say children. 
Show me a verse where it says he killed the infant. That's number one. Oh, number two. Okay. I made it. Let's, let's you guys pretend that's me true. If God me. killed anybody, that's a problem. Uh, well, let's let's address that. Uh, are you telling me that the person, according to the, if, if we're doing an internal fatigue, the one who gives you life is not a, a, allowed to take it from you in light of oh, okay. the fact that you are allowed to kill you? That's your justification that God can kill who is, he wants to kill. Is, is that your mother allowed no, to kill that's, you? That's, a, that's not the point I just said. He is the life giver. And no, you say he can kill who he wants to kill. You can ki God can kill whoever he wants to kill, right? I said in light of the fact of – Dave, you seem to have a, a problem tracking the conversation. I said just in light of answer the, fact, the question and quit – Shut up. Answer the question and quit <laughs> insulting me. All you want to do is insult us. Answer the question. God can kill. You're saying God can kill whoever he wants to. Is that true? I just said it again in light of, in virtue no, of. No, not in light of. Just answer the yes fucking no. question. Yes or no. Uh, can I speak to somebody who's not retarded? <laughs> yeah. Seriously, you're retarded. Oh, you're, okay, shut him uh, off. He's not yeah, going to insult us. He's not going to insult us and cause like us that. re retarded. That's ridiculous. He's just yeah. he's just looking to be um, obstinate and ridiculous. Yeah. We gave him. I'm not going to entertain somebody who throws around slurs. That nope, fucking nope. sucks. No, nope, we're but, not going to do that. Hey, if you have an actual adult argument and you'd like to call in, that'd be cool. Uh, if you can answer a yes or no question without having to put all these caveats of like, well, because of in this light of this, yeah, it's no. okay to murder babies. Yeah, oh in light God. of yeah. And yep. then calls us retarded. Yeah, Good he, he um, we gave him way too much air. But <laughs> it's gross, dude. It's real gross.